Hello again, and this is Jack Simon One, and this is part three of my PC build series where I shall be installing the RAM memory, the random access memory. Now on this motherboard it supports dual channel memory, which means you need two sticks of memory, or it does also support single channel memory, but nowadays that's pretty much gone now. So I have chosen DDR3 memory because that's what goes on my motherboard. And I have chosen some Kingston HyperX two sticks of four two sticks of two gigabytes rather memory. Now you probably won't notice, but in this video, unlike my other one where I removed it, I am going to be wearing my anti-static wrist strap for the whole video. And that's because the memory is the most like uh, damageable by static electricity so I'm going to hold it by the side and as you will have noticed on the motherboard I have read the instruction manual not something I do very often and pointed out what I found out where my memory has got to go to increase its dual channel capabilities so I've now got the first stick so if you look there's a notch in the memory and that will line up with a notch on the motherboard so we'll slot that into place and then gently push down on one side until the little thing clicks in here and then gently push down on this side you may have to put a little bit of force until that clicks in fully like that and there's a first stick of RAM so we'll do exactly the same with the other one I'll see if I can get you a slightly better angle on this for you but I'm not sure how well the camera is going to behave so we'll have to see so as you can see here I've got the two connectors out and ready to accept the memory so we take the second <coughs> stick of memory and we line up the notch on the memory to be the same as a notch on the motherboard which is quite easy so we gently slot it into the board and just the same as the other stick we push it down on the side and maybe gently push the little white connector in until it clicks and then we do exactly the same on the other side like so and that is the RAM memory installed now like I said this is the most damageable by static electricity so you've got to be very careful when installing this so this is the end of the part where I install RAM memory and I hope to see you next time